is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. Mike Trout of the Angels are the hottest team in baseball. The Halo's high octane offense has put up impressive numbers and the pitching has closed the door. Today, they look to stay on a roll as the American League West race is heating up. Angels, Rangers, next. All-Star Week continues here on Fox Sports West. The All-Star Games, matter of fact, coming up on Tuesday only on Fox, but we still have one more game before the end of the ceremonial first half. It's the finale of this four-game series between your Angels and the Texas Rangers. Let's take a look at the standings. In the American League West, Oakland lost to Seattle last night, so the Angels did pick up a game and now find themselves a game and a half out of the West. As we welcome you inside Globe Life Park and back to Angels baseball here on Fox Sports West, along with Mark Goo. I'm Victor Rojas, and over the last uh, 10, 12 days, heck, even the last couple of months, the Angels continue to play very good baseball so far in the month of July, 11 and 2. Yeah, Victor, so important to keep that focus before the All-Star break and be able to continue this role. The Angels are on in the last 10 games. They have been absolutely fantastic. 9-1. and one. They've done everything well. They've scored lots of runs here, and they've also pitched very well and hit with runners in scoring position over 400. Something we talked about a lot during the early part of the season. Well, that has not been the case anymore. Very good approach. David Freeze has been excellent with runners in scoring position in the bullpen. Everyone seems to be accustomed to the role right now. They're throwing the ball well, throwing first pitch strikes, and dominating getting some strikeouts and getting quick outs and keeping and maintaining those leads. The pitching continues to go well here in Texas. Today it'll be Tyler Skaggs, a lefty on the mound for the Angels. Scott Baker will counter for the Texas Rangers. We're just about ready for baseball here in the Lone Star State. Sit back and relax. We're going to bring you the lineups and the first pitch when we return. Angels baseball is brought to you by CarMax. Start the search for your next car at CarMax. By the all-new four-door Fiat 500L. Visit FiatUSA.com. And by the UPS Store, your one-stop shop for your small business needs.
to Texas triple digits. That's where we are at as far as the uh, temperature here in Texas. The wind uh, really not even blowing from the south today. So you're not going to get a whole lot of a jet stream. And as you can see in the upper parts of the right hand uh, uh, upper deck folks trying to get as much shade as possible. Uh, it is a two o'clock local time start here as they usually do on Sundays back in the day. However, they used to play uh, some night games on Sundays. They got the exemption grandfathered in. Uh, even with Sunday night baseball going on, they still had a chance to play night games, but uh, not as of yet. They're playing those two o'clock games. So we'll see how Tyler Skaggs and the Angels fare uh, this afternoon. This is the best records in baseball right now. Oakland, even with the loss yesterday to Seattle, still a game and a half lead over the Angels. 58 and 36 are the Athletics. The Angels at 56 and 37. Tigers right now taking care of business against Kansas City. The Dodgers had the uh, walk-off win last night, and Baltimore. In the American League That's East. Four out of five American League clubs with the best record in baseball, too, being in the AL West with Oakland and the Angels with the top two records in the game. Texas has taken the field. That means we'll check out Mike Sosha starting nine and mentioned just a game and a half back with a 56 and 37 record. Now two games over 500 out on the road. Cole Calhoun out in right field. Mike Trout in center. Our Pujols will serve as the DH today. Josh Hamilton in left. Eric Guybar in short. Now with Kendrick at second. David Freeze at third. Efren Navarro gets his start at first base. And it's Chris Dinette of batting ninth and doing the catching as they take on the 32 year old right hander native of Shreveport, Louisiana. His name is Scott Baker. Scott Baker not overpowering. Usually a strike thrower. You see that only nine walks. Fastballs 88 92. Hard slider. Pretty solid changeup, but the keys against Baker, 2-3 order. Hitters in the order, very good success against him. 20 for 43 with three home runs and 12 RBI. And look away, a lot of fastballs away, a lot of sliders away. Use that jet stream and warm carry to right the right center field. Defensively for the Texas Rangers this afternoon, you've got Smolenski, Robertson, and Rios in the outfield from left to right. Beltre, Andrews, Odor, and Jimenez from third to first. Chirinos is behind the plate. And Jimenez getting the start at first base. the third time he's been in first base this season for them. Also, we saw him on the mound the other day. Dealt even at 87 miles an hour. He had on his fastball, one, two, three inning. Also played 25 career games at first base, but he's caught. Played the first. And we've seen what he did on the mound the other day. And he's the backup catcher for Texas. Chirinos catching in his fourth consecutive game. The Angels, as we mentioned, 11 2 in the month of July. And Texas, on the other hand, 1 and 11 with a 7.08 staff ERA this month. Today's first pitch being delivered by the UPS stores. The Angels go back to wearing their uh, alternate red tops. Texas. They're uh, pearly white home uniforms. Cole Calhoun ready to lead things off for the Halos. 299 batting average, 10 home runs, 25 runs batted in. Cole yesterday ended up going 0 for 4. Did have a walk and was robbed in the first inning. And a fantastic play by Leonis Martin in straightaway center field. First one today is in there for a strike. Clint Fagan calling the balls and strikes today. Lance Barrett at first, Ron Culp at second, and Jim Reynolds at third base. Bell train on the grass just in case as Cole takes up and in. And it is two balls, or pardon me, one ball, one strike. Very patient in that lead off spot, Cole Calhoun. Baker's been a swing guy for Texas. This will be his fourth start, 15th game overall as Cole pops it up left side. Elvis Andrews out into shallow left field. Makes the catch one out. Up steps Mike Trout. Monday key to the game. A little water. I saw red, especially with this red top. The Halos were wearing. Been very, very effective against Texas in this series. Not used to seeing that in the past, having a tough time playing here in Arlington. The reality is the Angels have been all over the field, both at the plate and playing with the glove out in the defense. Trout had himself a four-hit game in the opening game of the series. Four runs batted in, went one for four in the second game. Last night, one for five as he takes a strike. Three oh eight average, twenty two home runs, sixty nine runs batted in, is twenty four doubles, and five triples on the season. Now a foul back off the mask of Chirinos. So Fagan will uh, walk the baseball out to Scott Big and give Robinson an opportunity to kind of catch his breath. 
It's no balls, two strikes. Baker's second round pick by the Minnesota Twins out of Oklahoma State University. And Tommy John surgery in 2012. Tried to come back last year with the Cubs. Limited to three starts. As John strikes out swinging. Two down. Baker signed with Seattle in the offseason. It's a spring training. They were going to option about to a triple A. He declined the assignment, asked for uh, his release, was granted. The Texas signed him. Big time, big time prospect. Minnesota strike thrower. He really developed into the type of pitcher, the dominant pitcher that everyone thought he was going to be with the Twins. There's Albert with two outs and the base is clear. He'll look at the strike. Baker, a 15 game winner in uh, 2009. His most complete season. That was with, of course, the Twins. Albert, this one fouled him out of play on the first base side. No balls, two strikes. As you can see, a lot of pitches away. We'll try to run a two seam fastball in just to keep you honest as a right handed batter. Same thing, we'll try to run the two seamer in off the hip of a left handed batter to catch that part of the plate. He is going to live on the arm side part of the plate consistently in this game. Broken bat flare, and that's beyond the reach of Jimenez. And it'll go as a two out single. The barrel ends up between the, uh, the mound and the third baseline. It's a well placed base hit by Albert Pujols. <laughs> Off the end of the bat, shatters the bat. And with the shift on, even with first baseman, Jimenez has in position because he's playing up, to knock it back in time to make that play. Josh Hamill, little bat now. Two outs with a man on. Odor, the second baseman, now the shallow right and toward the foul line. And Hamilton to pull. This one's cut on and missed. Off speed pitch. Josh has seen quite a few of those during the series. Yesterday had a one for four game with a single and a walk. Hitting 291, has five home runs. 25 runs batted in. Beltran, the only fielder on the left side. It's a yank foul. A lot of strikes so far from uh, Scott Baker. 11 pitches, 10 of them. Good strike. And this is back for Hamilton. Slider away. Now slider down and in. Baker ready to go. It's down and in. Nice block by Chirinos. Pujols not going anywhere. It's one and two. And just last night, 5 2 winners over Texas. Jared Weaver picked up his 10th win. We're getting out of some trouble in the first couple of innings. But then uh, settled in for seven solid frames, allowing two runs, four hits, three strikeouts, three walks. Here's the one, two. Josh loops it out to left center field. That will get down for a hit. Robertson with the dive cannot come up with it. Smolinski backing up keeps Hamilton at first with a long single. And that's the point you made, Victor. Smolinski there to back up. Robertson on the dive. You're not going to necessarily catch that baseball. You can never fault somebody for trying to make a diving play, but Smolinski was there to protect him, to back him up. That two seam fastball stayed up. And Josh hits in left center field. The effort was there, but a nice job by Smolinski. He made two outstanding plays in left field last in last night's game. Good job backing up Robertson in center. Yeah, what well, we've learned in this series, don't hit it to left. Even Daniel Robertson made a nice running catch on the fly ball Josh hit toward the foul line a couple of nights ago. Matter of fact, I saw an article somewhere uh, this morning in the Dallas papers about uh, comparing just a little bit Smolinski. To the original Red Baron, Rusty Greer. Here's Ibar. Takes a strike. When you think about those two plays he made in the outfield yesterday, after having to leave the game the night before, when Garrett Richards hit him great with a fastball on the elbow, diving on that elbow, made two great plays in the field. Eric hitting 284. 
headed to Minneapolis for the All-Star game on Tuesday. Six home runs, 49 runs batted in. And one hit last night, one for five. Looked like he went around, and he did. Jim Reynolds brings him up. Did not hold up on that breaking ball. 0-2 count. A lot of sliders from Baker early on in the game. A lot of strikes. Halos have raised their uh, team batting average with men in scoring position over the last couple of weeks. It's now at 273. 0 2. Watch out. Almost got him. Raised him with that fastball. Almost grazed him. Almost got that jersey. Just missed hitting the jersey of Eric Ibar, which would have put him on first base. Angels last night, 4 for 13 with men in scoring position. Pool holes with a broken bat single. Hamilton with a flare single to left center. Here's the one, two. Bat and a roll over to short. Andrews is only placed to first. And they throw out Ibar to end the inning. Angels get a couple of two out knocks, leaving stranded. We'll head to the bottom of the first here. Globe line Park scoreless. Started nine for the Texas Rangers, bringing up the rear in the American League West. 20 games back with a 38 and 56 record. It's Daniel Robertson getting the start out in center field. He'll lead things off. Elvis Andrews in short. Alex Rios in right. The All-Star Adrian Beltre, the cleanup hitter at third. Jake Smolinski in left. Chris Jimenez gets the start at first. Robinson Torino back behind the plate. Adam Rosales to DH, and it's Rootnet Odor batting ninth playing second base taking on the birthday boy 23 years of age today and it's Tyler Skaggs and Tyler Skaggs four and five on the season solid area 4.15 has been throwing a lot of strikes of late last two starts since coming off the DL but to be successful for Tyler maintain that two seam confidence and use his changeup he had a pretty good break ball the other day overthrew a few of them but his changeup has been very effective use that more so today Robertson will lead things off here, hitting 222, three doubles, six runs batted in. No Shinsu Chu, no Leonis Martin, both left handed batters. Picked up in a minor league trade with the San Diego Padres back in April. And that one catches the corners. Reeve up in one ball, one strike. Skaggs coming off a start, which he uh, took the loss against the Blue Jays. Three runs on 11 hits, six and two third innings. Two strikeouts, no walks. So he falls behind here, two and one. It's been his third start since coming off the disabled list. He's pitched well out of the road, three and three mark with a 2.96 ERA. He's one and two at home. 
And you can back up at two and two. It's a good spot with that two seam fastball once again. When his last two starts, it's coming off the BL, throwing nearly 75% of his pitches have been strikes. Pretty impressive. 2 2. Downstairs. Full count. Splits are unusual. Lefties actually hitting him better than righties. 307. That's what left handers are hitting against Tyler Skaggs. Right handers are hitting just 240 against him. Andrew saw deck. Chopper foul. So the cow remains full. And three balls, two strikes. Texas 18 and 29 here at home this year. 16 and 23 against the West. A season that has just uh, continued to snowball on him. Another payoff pitch. Robertson shoots from the right side. Effort Navarro with a diving stop. Feeds Skaggs. The throw's behind him, and he's safe at first. That little reach back may have cost an out. Heck of a play to get that ball to keep it on the infield. Yeah, great range. Navarro is one of the slickest fielding first basemen you're going to see. And as a left, you're falling towards third. What an outstanding range in the flip. It's a real close play. Did he get his foot on the base before Robertson did? The reach back. Not unable to make contact with the base before Robertson gets his foot on the base. And a lot of times when you're a pitcher trying to get led on, on a throw, you want to almost in front of you. You had to reach back. Very difficult because he had to change his footwork to be able to get it on the base at that point. I think if you lead him, you might have a chance to yeah, keep then you the stride. Run, yeah, you could run right through the base at that point. So it's an infield base hit for Robertson. We bet she's got good speed. Here's Elvis Andrews. He fouls off the first pitch. Andrews hitting 264, couple of home runs, 22 runs batted in. We'll see if Ron Washington pushes the envelope and uh, starting as base runners. They are third in the American League in stolen bases, 65. And Tyler has allowed eight stolen bases in 12 attempts. What we've seen her against Tyler is they will start early in the count against them. Try to guess. And time to throw to the plate. Big lead for Robertson at first. It's one ball, one strike. Well, Tyler with two pickoffs this season. That's a good move. But when he goes home, the times aren't that quick necessarily as most left-handed pitchers are. One one a little ground ball foul on the third base side. It's one and two. Robertson last year had 23 stolen bases. Triple A. This year only two in 13 games. Again with a pretty decent lead over at first. Nobody out here the bottom of the first. Pretty defensive swing there by Andrews on that pitch down at it. Good hard breaking ball. Skaggs. Saw that last time out. Almost too much break on his slider. Because he has a good breaking ball. He can change speeds with it. He throws his curveball and slider both for strikes. Andrews came at batting 264, has 21 doubles, two home runs, 22 runs batted in. Foul off the right. Andrews will hit into the uh, occasional double play, 16 of them. He's tied with Alex Rios, most on this Texas Rangers ball club. Texas has rolled into 88 double plays this year. Calhoun very shallow in right field. Back, 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 back. 
And if you're Tyler Skaggs and uh, not accustomed to uh, pitching in this type of weather, the goal is to be as economical as possible. Get to as many quick outs as you can. That's why I say use that two seam fastball and change up because you can get some quick outs with those pitches when you keep them down in a way. Robertson takes off, pitches way outside. Well, ricochets back to Ionetta. Robertson went in sliding at second, so he didn't know where the baseball was at. It goes to stolen base, overthrown fastball. Two balls, two strikes on Andrews with a man in scoring position. Looks like we anticipated Texas going to try to run on Tyler when he's going home. The high leg kick. Pretty good jump. May have a shot at throwing him out, though, if. The ball was a little bit closer to Ionetta's glove. Two two on the way. Andrews little number back up the middle. Kendrick with a backhand off balance throw and save at first base. Heck of an effort by Howie Kendrick to keep the ball near the infield and even have a play at first base. As it stands right now, it's another infield base hit. Well, I was almost thinking that he's better off holding on to the baseball. It's a lot closer than I anticipated being. Playing the jump throw and a lot on it for Howie. Very close play at first base. Well, he just got the foot in before the glove was. Baseball was in the glove and secured. Like Mike Sosha might go out. He's at the top step right now. No, he's not going to go out and uh, review it. So enough of the uh, the replay to be content with the call being correct. Yep. Foot right on the base as the baseball was going in the glove. So first and third. 14 pitches thrown by Tyler Skaggs. Nobody out. Alex Rios, the right fielder, hitting 302. Four home runs, 39 runs batted in. He swings the first one. Skies went to center. It's playable for Trout. It'll bring in a run. Andrews tags, but will stay at first as Robertson crosses the plate. That's 1 nothing Texas. Pretty tough run for Tyler. Really nothing hit well at all in this inning. It placed well. They're giving up a run. And they got to be aware of Andrews at first base also. And dealing with the hottest hitter on the team for the Rangers and, and Beltre. Adrian Beltre comes in batting 338 after going over 3 last night. Did pick up a walk. Tyler falls behind here. One ball, no strikes. Beltre with that uh, 0 for last night. Just behind Jose Altuve. Altuve leading 339. He leads the American League. With batting average. One ball, one strike. Texas striking first with a run here in the first inning. They struck first last night, scoring twice in the second off of Weaver. That one's down low. It's two balls, one strike. Attention to Andrews over at first base. 20 stolen bases. Leads the Rangers. He's been caught eight times. One bag already for Texas here this first inning. Robertson. With Andrews at the plate, still second.
third consecutive throw over now. Talk about how hot it is here today. 97 game time. Tyler Skaggs warmed up underneath, not in the normal bullpen. Weaver generally does that himself. Good idea for Tyler Skaggs. That way you can get your normal thrown in and not to deal with the heat. Skaggs behind at the count here, three and one on Beltre. 19 pitches, 11 strikes, eight balls. And they reconfigured the bullpen down for the visiting side to what it used to be, where you threw into seemed to be nothing but cement walls where it stayed extra, extra hot. And you were drained by the time you came out to the mound. It was so hot down there. Beltre skies one. Right side. It's Howie Kendrick. Making the catch to doubt. It's so warm down there right now. No guys are in the bullpen. Everyone's uh, watching from underneath. It's a good decision. Cement walls keeping the heat in down there in the bullpen. Yeah. Very, very hot. Matter of fact, if you look out to the Rangers bullpen out of right center, they're in the shade and they have none of their pitchers out there as of right now. The two outs, man at first, one nothing Texas. Jake Smolinski, the left fielder at the plate. Smolinski, eight for 17. To start off his big league career, three doubles, four runs batted in. Former second round pick of the Washington Nationals. He likes the fastball and break a ball in the inner half of the plate for sure. Snap throw to first, and Andrews just gets the foot back in there. Tag by Navarro. Nice throw by Chris. No two count on Smolinski. Smolinski had decent numbers at AAA round runs. Ten home runs. Andrews drifting off in his secondary lead, then a quick throw for Mayanetta. Quick tag. Got the foot back in. Oh, 2 Breaking ball missed upstairs. One ball, two strikes. Angels at the start of the day, second in the American League in batting average. They lead Major League Baseball in runs scored. Helped down, of course, by that 15 run outburst they had in the opening game of the series on Thursday night. It was second in both on base percentage and slugging in the American League. And the staff here right now, it's a fourth, 3.80. But needless to say, things have been clicking for the Angels. Pitched well and certainly hit well. Not the month of July. Andrews takes off and they've got him in a rundown. The bar will run him down. Howie Kendrick chase him back to the bag and they got him. On the back. That'll end the inning. Texas scores a run on a couple of hits. Andrews gets picked off to end the first. One complete here in Arlington. Texas leads it 1 0.
Ram trucks. Textbook as far as a rundown. The pickoff from Skaggs. Ball runs and is right to the base. And Howie, what you try to do in a rundown? Limited amount of throws. Be able to apply the tag to Andrews to finish off the inning. Textbook as far as a rundown. Howie Kendrick to lead things off. Celebrated his 31st birthday yesterday and uh, did so in grand fashion. Three hit game, three for four, three singles and an RBI. 289 with four home runs, 43 runs batted in now. Scott Baker continues to throw strikes. Gave up a couple of singles in that first inning, but also broke three bats. He's not ahead at 0 2. Not overpowering, but he throws a lot of pitches down in the strike zone. That's a called strike three. Three pitches on the outside part of the play. One down here to start the second. Second strikeout for Baker. This paints the outside corner. 90 mile an hour fastball, like you said. The keys against him. This look away. He will show in for effect, but he's going to pitch away with a slider and fastball. Both lefties and righties. It took the Angels a little while yesterday against Michaelis before they touched him for a run in the third inning. David Freeze here's a little smattering of booze as he's introduced here. We remember him well. MVP, the World Series. It wasn't his fault Nelson Cruz didn't catch the ball in the right. It was his fault he hit it so well, though. <laughs> 252 average for David. It's uh, Baker. He's thrown five consecutive strikes to start the second inning. David with four home runs, 30 runs batted in. One for four yesterday with an RBI. O2 off the plate. It's one ball, two strikes. This is the fourth start for uh, Scott Baker. 15th game. O2 record. Texas has not won any of the 14 games in which Scott Baker has appeared in this year. It's a good sign. So in 24 pitches so far, though, 20 strikes. And a guy that uh, even as a veteran has soaked up innings out of the bullpen and they've needed some help out of that pen this year. Off the plate. Two balls, two strikes. The staff ERA for Texas now at 4.88. A lot of injuries, a lot of young guys. There's a back up the middle, and there's a base hit. David Freeze continues to use that uh, middle part of the field. He's on board, third hit. So, so successful with that approach. Uh, trying to pull baseballs and going back up the middle in some key hits, especially with runners in scoring position of late, also. Speaking of guys who use the whole field, from Navarro, very good as far as utilizing the whole field. Effort hitting 297 this year, 11 for 37. It's three runs batted in. Called them before the game yesterday. Drew Rosinski was set back down from double A. The Angels did make a move today as Colin Calgill was placed on the 15 day disabled list. It's an 0 1 count. Calgill likely to miss uh, four to five weeks. Broken nose. Also a broken bone in his finger. Ball ricocheted off his finger. Up to the nose area last night. Yeah, talking to Mike Sosha today about the finger part of it. That should heal re relatively quickly, but it's dealing with the broken nose, having surgery on that also. No balls, two strikes. This is last night. Anyway, you know how tough. Oh, Galga is just to be able to walk off the field after getting hit in the nose with that baseball. Wish him our best. If we get back quickly, knowing him, he will. 0 2 count. Navarro pulls one through the right side of base hit. Freeze will stop at second. So back to back, one out hits for the Angels here in the second. It'll bring up Chris Sainetta. Baker will give up a lot of hits. His job generally is to keep the ball down. He elevates his fastball. That's when you can see a big three run home run or multiple home run inning against him. Baker this year's allowed uh, pretty much a hit per inning. A 
Zydetta steps in. 277 average for Chris. Five home runs, 24 runs batted in. Tiger started the uh, first three games of the series. Chris takes a strike. But one thing's for certain, Clint Fake and the home plate umpires established that outside part of the play with right handed batters up. So, guys, uh, better be taking note. Which for uh, Tyler Skaggs, you would think would play into his hand with that two seamer of his. About back over two. And continues to throw tons of strikes. Only five pitches have been added to the strike zone so far for Baker. But he also has allowed four hits already in the game. Halo's getting back to back two out hits in the first of them. For Ibar grounded out to finish off the first. Cole Calhoun on deck. 0 2 on the way. And it takes just down and away. It's one ball, two strikes. Angels with their uh, three victories here. Are now 23 and 18 against the West. And that's been uh, something that has dogged this team, especially last year. For over the last couple of years. Started off struggling against the West, but they've turned around the, of late. Now back. Cal remains with the ball in two strikes. I and mean, Ed has been swinging the bat well, too. When you look back his last 34 games, 323 batting average with three home runs and 12 RBI. Very good in the last home stand. Six for 11. Yeah, the team in general is swung to bat well in July. 305 team batting average this month. This off the heels of their best month so far, which is in June, to hit 274. It's down and away. Screen has wanted that pitch in. Two balls, two strikes now. The monster April with the home runs, though. Be tough for the Angels to catch that. Hit. 37 home runs in the month of April. 23 in May, 24 in June. They've hit 16 so far in July. Pickoff attempt as a door wanted to be The throw to second. But Baker just steps off. David Freeze at second. And for Navarro at first. Texas with a run in the first inning. Sack fly by Alex Rio scoring Robertson from third. Another 2 2. That is off the plate, full count. You may see the runners going here on a 3 2 count with one out. Trust in Ionetta's eye will not swing at something out of the strike zone or will make contact. Serenas has been really good. The runners do go, and this one's fouled off. Serenas leading All American League catchers in the percentage of caught stealing 45% now. So she's showing a lot of trust in Chris Ionetta's eye and his ability to make contact. Three eighty seven on base percentage for Ryan Edda. Baker ready. Runners go the three two foul back again. And freeze didn't get a really good jump on that one so it's important that I and makes contact. As a trail runner Navarro has to make sure freeze is going so he's waiting. Bigger lead for Freeze at second. They take off again, and I did again. Fouls it off. Freeze might ask for the stop sign now. <laughs> Thank you, a little tough. We were showing Navarro too. He was breathing pretty heavily, also. Real cool day out today. Nine pitches so far to Chris Zionetta. 
Kendrick struck out looking at Freeze and Navarro with singles. That is upstairs, ball four, so they're loaded up for Cole. First walk of the afternoon for Scott Baker. And here comes Mike Maddox. It's kind of an unusual visit, wouldn't you think? I mean, you got a guy, Scott Baker's been around a while, a veteran. Especially like he wasn't completely wild in that right. at bat. It was a tough at bat for Ionetti. You got to give him the credit. Found all some tough pitches. Cole hit a fly ball to center field. First inning. Caught by Elvis Sanders. With a shallow pop up. Praise at third. Navarro at second. Chris Hannett at first. There's the first one to Cole. He looks at a strike. Sent him off with a changeup. Like Cole was geared up for a fastball. Cole one to three with the bases loaded so far this year. Outfield straight around for Texas. Turn him off with a changeup and fastball in. Jim is the first base, but. Uh, not necessarily guarding the line, but as a first baseman, a left handed batter up, playing toward the line. We're in uh, game one of the series. A couple of uh, shots down the line for Calhoun. 1 1 on the way. This one's pulled, and Jimenez has it. And he cannot turn a double play. But a well struck ball right into the glove of Jimenez. Two outs. Again, there's nothing you can do, and that is bad for Cole. You did everything right, hit it right on the nose. Jim is able to make the play on that line drive. So travel bat now with the bases loaded, two outs. And Ionetta is off the base, but there's no one there to be at first base bag. He's thinking that baseball had a chance to get all the way down in the corner. He's going to go at least to third base on that line drive. He's going to make sure that ball is down, especially with Mike Trout able to come up with the bases loaded. Trout a strikeout victim in the first. So he's 0 for 1. Two strikeouts for Baker. Four hits, one walk. He's good shot. Breaking ball is backed up on him. The batting average with the bases loaded for Trout, 346. 3 for 5 this season. Including 9 RBI. Big grand slam against Chris Sale. The other was uh, Porcello. Uh, first inning, right? Saturday afternoon game, which he gave up what nine runs. Purcell, a 12 game winner this year at the break for Detroit. One ball, one strike. Tyler Skaggs had the uh, prolonged bottom of the first. Yeah, Baker having a prolonged top of the second. One one on the way. Out back. One and two. Mike uh, has a little frustrated walking out of the batter's box. Not going to get a pitch a drive there. Pretty much right down the middle of the plate. Last time up, Baker got him to swing and miss with a fastball away. Belt high. Two balls, two strikes. Now we're on deck. A one nothing Texas lead here in the top of the second.
2 2 now to Trout. He hits this one out to shallow left center field. Long run in for everybody. Smolenski can't come up with it. It falls in for a hit. Chris Sinetta is going to be waved around. Little hesitation there. And he'll score a bases clearing flared double. The Angels have a three to one lead. That's a well placed hit by the All Star. Sometimes is that how hard you hit it? Look what happened to Cole Calhoun. Hit a ball right on the nose, but caught this flare. Falls in and drives in all three. No hesitation by D. Sarcina, knowing they weren't in position in the outfield to throw the ball home. Take a look at our pitch by pitch. Slider, first pitch. Called by another all speed pitch. Fastball away. Great swing at it by Trout. Fastball up. That's what he got him out with his first at bat. And again, fastball ran in. But Trout's strong enough because the outfield's playing deep on a day game here. We're playing deep, it falls in. The effort was there by Smolenski, but it gets away from him, and all three runs score. Hesitation, too, by Robertson allows Ionetta to score. Because they have a play easily at the plate. Out to right center field, Alex Rios comes in, makes the catch, and the inning comes to an end. But uh, the Angels strike for three. We're right to the bottom of the second. Angels lead it three to one. Why? With the base loaded, Mike Trock gets jammed on a fastball in, but because of the fact that he's driven the ball so well here in Texas, they're playing deep. Smolinski dies for the baseball off the glove, and then and Ionetta is being waved home by Gary DeSarcina. The indecision on getting the ball in allows Ionetta to score. The dive. We've seen Smolinski make some outstanding plays in this series, especially in yesterday's game, unable to make that play, resulting in a three-run double. For Mike Trout, 72 RBI now on the season for Trout. Smolenski, Jimenez, and Chirinos for Texas here in the bottom of the second. Smolenski was at the plate when Elvis Andrews was uh, picked off by Tyler Skaggs in the first inning. Tyler delivers outside. Skaggs threw 23 pitches in that first inning. 14 strikes. Smolenski 8 for 17. He pointed out in his first inning plate appearance. That did not become official. One ball, one strike. Kind of allowing a couple of singles, an infield single to Robertson. An infield single to Elvis Andrews. 1-1 one, one now. On the inside corner, one and two. Trout, by the way, with a three run batted in. Now, 72 runs batted in at the break. 
The double is 25th. Smolski shoots one over to second. One hopper handled by Kendrick. One down. Let's take a look at our ATT U-verse rewind with Smolinski hitting the ball hard, but at Howie making a good play. We saw what Smolinski could do defensively last night, diving face first. Great play. And then with the bases loaded, potential three-run double by Pohol. Smolinski showing great range to the glove side also. Good defender out in left field. A lot of energy. Almost made a great play against Trout, but unable to do so. Yeah, it kind of leads you to believe it. I think that this kid, considering the struggles that Texas has had and the injuries that they've had, would have been out much sooner. Well, so his energy found a place is for very him. good. He gets good reads off the bat. Even that baseball was hit hard the other way. We've seen a lot of his well hit baseballs to left field. A decent little speed, too. Yes. Good throwing arm out in the outfield. And your second round pick out of high school. You've, uh, you've got some ability. Yes. 1 0 to Jimenez as he swings through that one. And it's a one ball, one strike. Backup catcher getting a start at first base. Worked out of the bullpen a couple of nights ago. And last night he went to Twitter to, to pray for a victory. He tweeted last night, Dear baseball gods, can we please get a win tomorrow? Thanks, sincerely me. <laughs> sincerely me. It's been a tough, tough road for Texas. You mentioned the uh, 1 and 11 record in July. They were 9 and 17 in June. That's a called strike three. Down goes Jimenez. There's a lot of baseball teams out there, though, that remember that Texas won a ton of games of late. So they don't really feel all that bad for the Rangers at this point, even though everyone feels bad when you have key guys injured and not able to play. But they've beaten up on a lot of teams for a long period of time. Yes, they have. Ron Washington had a closed door meeting after Thursday's game and airing out. Well, there's definitely never going to be a give up in Ron Washington. He's going to have these guys playing extremely hard every single pitch, every inning the rest of the season, even with the key guys being injured. Robinson Torinos looks at strike one. The catcher, 243, nine home runs, 29 runs batted in. 0 for 3, and a hit by pitch last night. Good shot from behind home plate. The, the uh, movement, also the uh, the brightness, the glare that's here in this ballpark right now. Two o'clock local time start. But for the most part, I mean, it's a pretty good hitter's ballpark. From the standpoint of uh, great batters out, you've got Greens Hill out in center field. You can pick up the baseball very good. Well, for the most part, sometimes you get that early start like they had yesterday, the six o'clock start where the shadows really play a role. Trinos fouls it back one and two. But this park and the old park, right over the south side of this yard here, where both have been very good hitters' yards. And a lot of fond memories of that old ballpark, also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool ballpark. Yes. Metal bleachers. Remember they used to have the temperature up there at game time. It seemed to be every day was 113. That was like the juiced radar guns yeah. they have nowadays <laughs> in the ballpark. Dribble up the third base line. It goes foul. I know this is over there to touch it to make sure it stays foul. And that was a triple A AAA ballpark. Yes. Before the uh, Senators relocated to Texas. Hey folks, Friday the Angels take on the Mariners at 7:05. That is Game One after the All-Star break. Fans in attendance will receive a Mike Trout no courtesy of Chevron Extra Mile while supplies last. Purchase tickets today at the Angel Stadium ticket office or logging on at Angels.com. That's a game face look after that three-run double you had last inning. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Go with it. <laughs> Angels takes a break. The ball outside. Skaggs wanted the call. Or that could have been a little bit more of a smile because he got a three run yeah. double on that jam shot out the left center field. Jam sandwich. Oh, yeah. Two, two. Torino's lines with a second. It's a one, two, three shutdown inning for Tyler Skaggs. Go ahead to the third. Angels on top three, one.
photo of the game, but we need your help. Tweet us your photo using hashtag WestFanPhoto. It could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. Angels back to work here to third, up three to one. Hamilton, Ibar, and Kendrick to face Scott Baker. Two strikeouts, one walk, five hits allowed for Baker. Josh had a base hit in the first. One for one. Funny how things uh, even themselves out in baseball. Cole Calhoun with one out. Smoked one, but uh, robbed by Jimenez. And then Trout, a little flare that falls in for bases clear and double as Hamilton launches one out to right field. Rio's not going to get there, and that's off the wall. Josh rounds first, headed to second, almost stumbled and fell, but he's in there with a double. We're in another double here for Hamilton in this series. Just missed the home run. Hamilton with four doubles in seven games versus Texas. Thought he might have a shot. Getting this one out on a two seam fastball that had lateral movement instead of sinking action off the wall, the 349 sign. Josh stumbles, but still able to slide in for a leadoff double, his 12th of the season. So, man at scoring position with nobody out and Eric Ibar at the plate. Eric reaching for one fouls it off into the dugout. I borrow for one with a ground ball to short. I'm sorry, but you see the his approach. He's trying to make sure he hits the ball to the right side of the infield with someone at first base, but not a lot of experience. You might see Eric drag a bunt down there at some point in this game also. Shoots this one under the glove of Beltre. That might bring home a run. Hamilton is being waved around. He will come in to score, and it's four to one. Halos. 50th RBI now. The season for Eric Ibar, the All Star. And because his ability to bunt, push, and drag a bunt, Beltre is forced to play in. And he hits this one by him. Slow down going out to the outfield as it touches the glove and good read by Gary DeSarcina to send Josh Hamilton home with the fourth run of the game. Just off the bottom part of the glove slows it down and allows Hamilton to score. So seven hits now for the Angels. Nobody out here in the third. Howie Kendrick at the plate struck out looking his first time up and they'll check in on Eric. How he fouls this one back off of Chirinos. He's caught all four games in the series. He's done a fantastic job all year for Texas. Boy, straight back off the mask. Never easy to play a day game after a night game here in Texas for a catcher. Rangers went into the season with Giovanni Soto and J.P. Aaron Sibia as their catching tandem. Soto got hurt. Aaron Sibia is gone. So Chirinos has sucked up a lot of innings. And he is, uh, I tell you what, he's kept the running game in check for uh, well, when you for throw the Rangers. 45% of would-be base dealers, that's outstanding. I don't even think in terms of 30% is very good. That average is slightly above average as far as percentage of throwing out would-be base dealers. Ibar with a big lead at first. No balls at a strike on Howie. You would think this would uh, be a perfect opportunity. A little hit and run action. Anytime you have a sinker ball pitcher, sinker slider guy, you can hit the ball on the ground. Baker's allowed three stolen base and three attempts, but throughout his career, he's, he's pretty good as far as slowing down the running game. He's quick to the plate. Oh, one ground ball to second. Odor bobbles it for a second, flips it to Andrews, bare hands it, throws to first, safe at first. They don't start to run, and they almost uh, hit into a tailor made double play, but a little bobble allows Howard to reach on the fielder's choice. 
And so often when you see an infield not turning to double play, it looks like it's going to be routine. Even though there's no error on the play because you can't assume a double play. You'll sometimes come back and haunt you an extra base runner against a guy who's a pitch to contact guy. Well, the Angels certainly made the most out of their uh, mistakes on Thursday with that uh, 15 run 17 hit attack. Error by Andrews, error by Rios. Here's David Freeze who singled up the middle his first time up. Takes a little bit high. Freeze came in batting 375 in the month of July. 12 for 32, now 13 for 33. Trino set up the way outside, too. Freeze saw a lot of those uh, breaking balls before he got one to drive up the middle. Eventually scored on the uh, blue double off the bat of Mike Trout. Howie with a pretty good size lead. Now, whether it's a hit and run or a straight steal, you might see something on here. One ball, one strike. Boy, and a lot of times you'll see with catches, especially with good arms and certain counts, running counts will call for a fastball away. And throw over the first base first. Low throw, a nice dig by Jimenez. Jimenez did a nice job of concentrating on that baseball and dealing with how he diving back into the base. You see, as a catcher, low throws. Freeze lifts one out to a shallow left center. Elvis Andrews back pedaling out. Two outs. So Kendrick remains at first. It's Effort Navarro coming to the plate. Effort had a base at the right field in his second inning at bounce. He's one for one. We have good numbers at AAA once again. 326 this year at Salt Lake. 19 doubles, four home runs, 50 runs batted in in 72 games. He is a very solid player. Make good contact, uses the whole field, very good defender, especially at first. We saw him play some outstanding right and left field too this season for the Halos. Cuts through the first one. After a career 297 batting average in the minor leagues, eight seasons. Now 10 hits shy of a thousand minor league hits. Inside, Trinos wanted to throw first, but uh, lost the handle of the baseball. One one. Buckled. One and two. Texas getting action in their bullpen right now. Baker just threw a 60th pitch. Four to one Halos. Efron hits one out to right field. Rios moves back a couple of steps, puts it away. And the Angels are done here in the third. They tack on a run as we hit the bottom of the third. Four to one Angels.
Jeter and all of his all-star mates will be there for the Midsummer Classic. Special coverage begins at 1.30 on Fox Sports 1, followed by the 2014 All-Star Game at 4.30, only on Fox. As all the makings of an outstanding game, just talking with Ken Rosenthal the other day when he talked about Derek Jeter. Of course, Derek Jeter being one of Mike Trout's all-time favorite players. His idol growing up. Eric Ibar going to be in the game along with Trouty. Nash League loaded himself. McCutcheon, boy, he had a big game again yesterday. Tied a game, then won a game eventually with a home run. Unbelievable young talent in baseball. Tyler Skaggs back to work after a 1 2 3 second. Faces 8 9 and 1. Rosales, Odor, and Robertson. Adam Rosales serving as a DH today. Sixth game with Texas this year. He's 4 for 15, has a double. And three runs batted in. Fouls that one back. He will chase a high fastball. Rosales got the start uh, Thursday night, second base. Up going 0 for 4 was also hit by a pitch. Breaking pitch, line to left. Puts it was up in the zone and leadoff man on board. He said he likes everything elevated in the strike zone. That was an all speed pitch elevated. Now it's time for the Fours Banquet Timeless Moment. 2010 Anaheim Stadium hosts the 81st All Star Game. The you NL know, wins that one. First win since 1996 in Philadelphia for the National League. Boy, for a longest period of time, the National League owned the All Star Game. The tide has turned. Sissy going with the American, especially when you think about home field advantage for the World Series, the importance of winning the All Star Game. Well, door looks at a strike. Still think they got to change the uh, the voting if it's going to continue with this whole home field advantage thing. Not necessarily have that to have every team represented, just to have the fan vote, pick the best players. Period. The story. Now we're up to what 78 players and have been you, selected as all stars you this play year when you're selected all right. The record was a couple of years ago 80, 86 players total. Oh two to our door. Stop the plate. One ball, two strikes. That's a good just miss for Skaggs against Odor. Especially as a young hitter, you see a fastball just off the plate. Now you can go fastball off the plate again or a breaking ball. Odor hitting 261 with three home runs, 18 runs batted in. Rosales at first, leadoff single. The one two. Sky down to a shallow right center field. Long run for Trout and Calhoun. Trout makes the call and the catch. One down. It's good communication between Trout and Calhoun as Calhoun's coming a long way himself. But Trout, the center fielder, the quarterback of the outfield defense, makes the call and has to go a long way. You can see at the top of the screen how far he has to come on this player in the right center field. But the communication there, he hears. Calhoun does Trout calling for it, gets out of the way. Trout makes the play. Top of the order now. Dan Robertson. Center fielder this afternoon. Infield base hit, a stolen base, and a run scored in the first as he looks at his strike. 45 pitches thrown by Skanks, 30 mid strikes. Couple of infield base hits in that first inning. Shortly for Rosales at first. One ball, one strike. Twenty-third birthday for Tyler Skaggs. Forget that he's only twenty-three. Now twenty-three. Veteran, 23 year old. 91 innings of work coming into uh, today. Hit 
kick towards short. Ibar can't get to it. It falls just beyond his reach. Rosales will stop at the second base. A two hit game for Robertson. Two on, one out. Now the Sanders coming up. An infield hit and then the flare just over the head of Eric Ibar for Robertson, but yet, if you look up, he's two for two. He's making contact. Andrews is single infield variety of the first. It's Benjamin leaned over at first base. Coach for Texas, Gary Pettis at third base. Real good defenders in their day wearing the Angel uniform. Good breaking ball in its own one. Angels scoring three times in the second inning. Texas took a one nothing lead in the first and tacked on a run in the third. Four to one now. Calhoun very shallow in right field. That's the way that Andrews likes to go. The ball. Interesting alignment with Andrews at the plate. Right behind the runner at first base. Now he's shading him toward the middle. Now back to his normal position. Two balls, one strike. Look like Tyler didn't follow through on the breaking ball there. Just try to guide it into the strike zone. Gonzalez to second, Robertson at first, the 2 1 pitch in there, 2 2. Not too many pitches that Elvis Andrews thinks of the strikes. Well, that's the upper part of the strike zone early in the at bat. He thought the break ball was out of the strike zone down, but both in the zone. Tough year for the Rangers shortstop, a down year for him. Now the 2 2. Missed in, full count. Alex Rios on deck. Glance back to Rosales. Here's the payoff. And he walked it. So they loaded up for Rios. First walk issued. And Mike Butcher now will pay a visit. Hey, folks, Beach Week at the Big A is July 22nd through the 25th. Make your plan to see the Angels take on the Orioles and the Tigers and receive a beach bag, beach blanket, or Hawaiian shirt. The week concludes Friday, July 25th with Polynesian dancing in the music garden. For more info, just log on at angels.com slash promotions. Clint Fagan, the uh, home plate umpire is going to go out and break up the meeting. Tyler get uh, back locked in on the pitches in the strike zone. 53 pitches now as we play here in the third. Both starters have uh, had their issues at times. A long first inning, although not knocked around in the first. Tyler Skagg gave up the run. It's four batters. Easy one, two, three second inning, but now here, a little bit of trouble. A three run lead facing Rios, who had a sack fly in the first, picked up his 40th run batter in. And the guy, if you get the ball down on the ground in the new club, you can get a double play.
Good pitch, good location. Oh, and one. Texas in this series coming into this afternoon's game. Three for 22 in scoring position. Great location to be able to get a ground ball double play with that pitch. Effort off the line at first. Oh, good pitch down and in. Oh, and two. Hard breaking ball. Another fastball away. Hard slider down and in. Great location of that pitch. Whatever you do here, just keep it down in the zone. When it's picked up a little bit, that south wind makes a little bit of a jet stream out to right. The wind uh, virtually non existent in the early part of the game. This one shot to right. It'll go in the corner. Two runs for sure will score. Calhoun cuts it off and uh, being stopped at third is Andrews. And it's four to three. Well, you're ahead of the count. You throw a slow breaking ball. Got a lot of the plate. Well, he just went with it. Credit Rios for his swing. But when you're ahead of the count like that, that's when you expand the strike zone for Tyler. We talked about that before the game. Just a little bit different feel for him as far as his breaking ball. That one stayed out over the plate. Have an opportunity to get a swing and miss. But you're already calling down to the bullpen. Everyone available today. You have four days off coming up starting tomorrow with the All-Star break. Everyone will be available for Mike Sochi in this afternoon's game. Second and third and uh, still one out. Beltre looks at a strike. Uh, trying to baffle by the pitch selection. Especially after you have painted a fastball away, then you will throw a hard breaking ball down and in, and it looked foolish on. Double for Rios is 21st. He's got three RBIs in the ball game. Beltre takes. Comes right down the middle of the plate. Good pitch. It's one ball, one strike. And field back. Ground ball to the right side. It'll bring in a run. Kendrick is there. Two outs. And we're tied at four. Beltre picks up his 51st RBI. Rio sends up at third base, and Smolinski will. Come to the plate now. Mike Sochi going to talk to third base umpire Tim Reynolds. I think they're trying to look like they were trying to call down to the bullpen and nobody's moved around yet or trying to get someone moving. That's what the conversation is to see if the phone's working. Ron Culpa is the uh, the crew chief. He's at second base. Two outs. Smolinski at the plate. And a ground ball to second. His first time up. She's over one. Four four tie here to third. Now what eight for eighteen of the big leagues this year. Over three game last night. He drives one out the left. Josh Hamilton tracking it down, pulls up, makes the catch, and that'll do it for Texas. But they tie it up. Two RBI double by Rios. The ground out by Beltre after three. It's a four-four tie.
Coming up. Dinetta, Calhoun, and Trout to face Scott Baker. His offense done a nice job since Don Baylor has returned. And, uh, more specifically, the uh, situational hitting has gotten a little bit better over the last couple of weeks. And using the whole field and the patience at the plate. Not accepting strikeouts as part of the game anymore. That's one thing we remember. We had that conversation with him during some games in Tempe. And he was upset and seeing the number of strikeouts. And the number of players on the Angels lineup last season. He said he was not going to accept that. He was more consistent using the whole field. I had a fouls that one back. And and a piece of Torinos has been uh, hit a couple of times already today. Off the mask earlier. It's off just inside the knee, the shin guard area. I did with a walk, his first plate appearance, eventually scored on the double by Trout. Oh two called strike three one down third strike down for Scott Baker. Full count here are the numbers since Baylor's return June 25th not bad that'll work. I would say so. Our assistant hitting coach Dave Hansen's done a very good job Paul Sorrento when he stepped in for Don Baylor Don Baylor was always in contact with the hitters as it was when he was. Not at the stadium that there's some days for early batting practice at the big A but always in contact with the hitters throughout the whole time working his way back into that dugout. Cole skies one out to left. Long run for Smolensky toward the foul line dives and can't handle it. It's a fair ball and it goes a double for Cole Calhoun mentioned those winds have picked up a little bit so that ball continued to. It pushed away from Smolensky, but he almost made another spectacular play. He seems to be everywhere. Going a long way, trying to track the baseball and then time the dive. Has it in the glove, oh. but as he's trying to secure the baseball, it pops out. Great range. Very aggressive in the outfield, but unable to maintain control of the baseball. Now it evens out. Cole Cohn last at bat a rocket. Was caught now that one flares in for a double. 15th double this season for Calhoun. Here's Trout as one for two of the strikeout and that uh, bases clearing double in the second. As he cuts through the first one. So no one count. Too often see Trout jump on that, that first pitch. Comes up empty. Now with over 70 RBI here. Before the All Star game, 20 home runs, 22 exactly. Mike, the uh, sixth Angel, 20 plus home runs, 70 plus runs batted in before the All Star break. Last to do it, Vlad Guerrero, number four. But Wally did it a couple times, Wally Joyner. Don Baylor, Garrett Anderson, Wally, and Vladdy. Baylor at 23 and 85 in 1979. That's his MVP season. At 299 that year. 1 1 to Trout. He drives this one to the alley and left center field. Nobody's going to get this one. Calhoun on his way home. He'll score easily. Trout on his way to second. He will stop right there. And it's 5 to 4 Angels as they retake the lead. And just another double. The trout 26 now on the season in a 73 RBI 22 home runs 26 doubles and five triples Mike Maddox coming out paying a visit second of the afternoon for uh, Maddox that's a more typical double for Mike Trout yeah on the line and the wall screaming after the ball hits it action just uh, now beginning Talk about 20 plus home runs, 70 plus RBI by the break. The names Vlad Wally twice, Garrett Anderson, Don Baylor. 
Shot Tollison is now loosening. Brian Earbend was uh, playing catch in the third inning, but Tollison up now here the fourth. Angels have seen Tollison in this series once. There's Albert. One for two with a base hit. With a fly ball to right field in the second. Nine hits for the Angels through a three and a third. Just missed down it away. Next pitch will be the 70th for Baker. One all. Lays off the breaking ball. Two balls, no strikes. Last outing for Baker. It was against Houston on the ninth. One inning of relief. His last start was on the third at Baltimore. About four and two thirds. A warm day like today and some, some offense on both sides. It turned out to be a, a bullpen day. Just before here in the All Star break, everyone available. 3 0 count with Hamilton on deck. Josh with a couple of hits already. Trout standing at second, an RBI double for him, second four RBI game of this series. Here's 3 0. Albert swings it. It's not the shallow left. Smolinski coming in. Two down. So Josh will bat now with two outs. If Trout's still at second. With an open base right here with Hamble. Lefty up. Norik Ibar, a switch hitter on deck. Imagine him getting a whole lot of fastballs if he gets pitched to here in this at bat for Josh. Especially how well he's hitting the series. We're going to pitch to him. Swing over three infielders on the right side. The last time up hit the double off the wall in right. Twelfth of the year. One ball, no strikes. Five runs, nine hits, four left on for the Angels. Four runs, five hits, and one man left on for Texas. One ball, one strike, back to back off speed pitches. Got a big lead at second. Nobody paying attention to him. And Baker now steps off. But I guess maybe Scott Baker was paying attention to him. Felt a little uncomfortable there when he saw the lead that Trout was taking. It's all right. That's what you want if you're Josh Hamilton. Baker to pay attention to Trout. So he makes a mistake. Another off speed pitch. It's one ball, two strikes. Baker, three strikeouts, one walk, and the nine hits allowed. Tollison ready to go in the pen. We're just in the fourth. Two balls, two strikes. So all sliders followed by a changeup. And avoiding throwing Hamilton a fastball. He's going to force Josh to get himself out, swing something out of the strike zone rather than go after him with a fastball. Especially with an open base.
2 2 now. Hamilton lifts one out to center. Chasing Robertson back a little bit and to his right. Shy of the track makes the catch. The inning comes to an end. The Halos retake the lead on the Trout double head to the bottom of the fourth. 5 4 Angels. You by Jack in the box of the new Jalapeno Ranch or Barbecue Ultimate Cheeseburgers. By Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. By the 2014 Camry at your Toyota dealer today, we make it easy. And by AT&T U-verse TV, rethink possible. Handles up five to four. That is the uh, Ryan Express. Nolan Ryan, the statue out in uh, straightaway center field. Tyler Skaggs back to work here at the bottom of the fourth inning. He got. Uh, Slowly paced game here. Both guys have thrown some pitches that uh, extended at bats. Long inning for Tyler in the third, faced seven batters, allowed three runs to come in. At that point, it tied the score at four, but uh, the Trout doubled, bringing home Cole Calhoun, who doubled down the left field line. So it's five to four. Jimenez, Chirinos, and Rosales, six, seven, and eight for Texas. Jimenez, the uh, first baseman today, struck out look his first time up. Looks at a strike. That wind seems to be blowing in now. A pretty good clip. Maybe it'll cool off some of these fans. Supposed to touch uh, triple digits. Feels a little bit better with the wind. No balls, two strikes. Well, you can tell by the first take there by Jimenez. He's looking for something in. And that swing of that fastball was on the inner half. He had a pretty good hack at it. Tyler got him out on a fastball away, last at bat. I try a baseball off the outside corner right now with this next pitch. Off speed, emergency hack, fouls it, keeps his plate appearance alive. Jimenez has had some time in the big leagues prior to this year. Cleveland, Seattle, Tampa Bay. As he goes down swinging for the first down here in the fourth. Well, that's the spot you know right now to go after Jimenez is next at bat after Tyler. Twice now he struck him out on pitches outside. Excellent location at 93 mile an hour fastball. But Mark, I mean that's a that's a pitch right there. You could throw it to anybody and you're very rarely going to get any trouble with that. I think I think a lot of times pitchers get caught up in the need to set up hitters. Well, you can stay there all day long. At best case scenario, as a hitter, you're going to hit that ball on the ground. You might find a hole with it, but the, it's not going to be elevated in the air and hit right. necessarily hard. He's got great action on his two seam fastball, even though he just really started throwing that this year. This is low on the first one of Torino's. He's lined out to Kendrick down the second, so he's over one.
Did miss by much. It's two balls, no strikes. This looks like it's getting the lower part of the strike zone. That's both pitches were very close to being strikes. Let's see if this pitch gets the outside corner at the knees. The corner of Fox tracks. Yes, it does. Two and one. You know, if you can back that up with a changeup away on that same plane, you can be extremely effective getting some easy outs with this changeup. He's had one easy inning. That was the second. A ground out, a strike out in the lineup. Two balls, two strikes. It's all right. Even though he fouled it straight back, you're still back in the count. Now you have options. You go right back with that two seamer away, or you can throw your change up down and away. Day like this, as we talked about uh, a couple of innings ago, conserving energy as much as possible. And you want to get those quick one two pitch outs, give yourself an opportunity to put yourself in line for a W and to minimize the amount of outs the guys out of the bullpen are going to have to pick you up for. Another 2 2 to Torinos. It's down and in. Full count. Adam Rosales on deck. Texas still has action of the bullpen. So it looks like Tolleson will be coming into the game. The fifth. Payoff on the way. It's fouled back. Foul. 73 pitches thrown by Tyler so far in this game with one out now in the fourth inning. Long at bat for Trinos against Skaggs. Battle comes to an end on a dribbler on the left side. Skaggs throws over to first, two down. Took him a little while, but he gets the second out of the inning. Tucker does a nice job as far as fielding his position. Now 74 pitches thrown, 24 back in the third, 23 in the first. He keeps himself under control on a slow rolling ground ball, knowing he's going to be a guy that will throw firm to first base. Doesn't have to be an underhand throw that we see so often from pitchers. He's comfortable throwing the first, gathered himself, no panic, nice play. Two outs, nobody on, and Adam Rosales, a DH up. He's single to left field, lead off the third. Then she came around to score, hits a little dribble foul here. Scouting report against Rosales, keep the ball down. Couple of games around Major League Baseball that uh, a little bit further along than we are here. Of course, this game started at uh, two o'clock Central Time. To Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, and the seventh Cincinnati six three. Boston shutting out Houston seven nothing down at Houston. Kansas City's come back. They Detroit five to two. Milwaukee leading St. Louis eleven to one. Braves over the Cubs ten four. Oakland and Seattle's in the bottom of the third. Rosales fouls it off to the right. Seattle leading one nothing. Here it is five to four Angels. And speaking of Milwaukee, did you see that Carlos Gomez strikeout by yeah. Adam Wainwright? Yeah. Uh, attempted at Bo Jackson. Yeah. Bat yeah. break. Did you not watch a 30 on 30? It's not a good idea unless you're Bo Jackson to break a bat over your leg. That is a face palm right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. 
Not once, not twice, three times. <laughs> then you throw and the then bat. Take it out of That's everything a bad else. Bat. Bad bat. <laughs> Here's the one, two. And he got him looking on a big bender. A one, two, three inning second of the game for Skaggs. We're through four, the Angels lead it by a run. For Angels, I uh, want to remind you that we'd like to put you in the programming chair. Visit the Fox Sports West Facebook page and you can vote for three Angels games you would like to relive from the first half of the 2014 season. We will re air the top three vote getters on Thursday, July 17th, right here on Fox Sports West. The voting ends tonight at midnight Pacific time. Tonight? So go to Facebook.com slash Fox Sports West. They're the fifth. Texas and Ron Washington have gone to the bullpen. Sean Tollison takes over on the mound. Are in and out. Who's in? Who's out? Baker done after four innings. And Tollison fastball, firm fastball, 90 to 95. Slider will throw a cut fastball. Occasional changeup. 41 strikeouts and 45 and two thirds innings pitched. He pitched one inning of relief Friday. A one two three ninth retiring Pujols Hamilton and Ibar. Eric will lead things off here the fifth inning. He'll be followed by Howie Kendrick and then David Freeze. Well, he's given up nine home runs at 45 and two-thirds innings pitched. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Guy bar takes up and away. Beltran on the grass. Chimena is playing in a little bit at first base. And that one's pulled foul. One ball, one strike. Watch out. Misses inside for ball two. But you don't want to see Eric throw that hand out there. Almost that kind of yeah, protective zone. That's the last thing you want you to see. You see Trout do it well. Just turn your shoulder in to absorb it on the shoulder, not the hand. Three balls, one strike. And there's ball four. So the Angels get their leadoff men on board. Hey, folks, July 22nd, the Angels will be hosting the Orioles at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a newly added Angels Beach Bag courtesy of Experian. While supplies last, purchase tickets by visiting the Angel Stadium ticket office or by locking on at angels.com.
Now he 0 for 2. Strike out of fielder's choice. Tollison uh, all over the place, and here comes Mike Maddox. Trying to calm Tollison down. Good fastball, but kind of all over the place. Very difficult to put a hit and run on now when you see a guy so wild like this, especially when you throw high fastballs. But at some point, you would think with this combination of Eric Ibar on at first base and Howie Kendrick at the plate, you might see Mike put a hit and run on. Or well, some of Maddox's visits to the mound, you, you almost have to slap on some SPF 50 out there because it takes a little while. Want to get sunburned. Long conversations, very, yeah. very smart guy. One ball, no strikes on Howie. Eric with the leadoff walk. Third to first. Eric back easily. Scott Baker went four innings. Give up five runs, all earned, nine hits, three strikeouts, one walk in his fourth start of the year, 15th appearance. Goes to the break ball. It's in their first strike, even to count. Tollison, a Texas native. Grew up in Allen, Texas, suburb of Dallas. Down high school at Baylor University. 30th round pick by the Dodgers in 2010. Claimed off waivers. November of last year. Well, as the trade deadline gets closer and closer, you hear that conversation about bullpen arms. And Texas may be one of those clubs that, with some arms down in their bullpen, they be, may be willing to deal with contenders at this point. Two balls, one strike. The question, and I've, and I've read a lot of the names. Just like everyone else has, Joaquin Sori or Adrian Beltre, or Elvis Andrews, whomever. But Texas still has to field a team next year. And you feel like they feel like as if, with all the guys coming back from injury, that they will be back in contention next year. So if you start giving away some of those pieces for minor league pieces, are you setting yourself back? That's how he fouls this one off Torinos. That's the third time in this game. Fourth, maybe. That's the third off the mass. He's got a bit of a leg earlier. High fastball. This one right off the top of the mask. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, I mean, their core players are still young, too. They're all injured at this point, but they're still very young. And the Derek Hollins on fourth. Profar. Matt Harrison might be a tough one, though. Well, you hope he has an opportunity to get back and compete again. And even Fielder, the neck fusion surgery, is still don't really know on a power hitter, too, how that'll affect him. 2-2, two, two, and that's line to right. Good piece of hitting. Ibar is going to turn and head to third. So a walk followed by a single, and the Angels have runners at the corners here in the fifth with nobody out and freeze coming up. You mentioned a good piece of hitting. When his fastball had some running action. He wanted it away, Trino did, but it ran in, but he went inside out with his swing, and once again, Howie hitting that ball the other way so effectively. This is a spot where David Freeze has really excelled lately with runners in scoring position. Utilizing that big part of the field, getting the job done. One for two today. As he shoots one out to right. Ibar back to the bag to tag. Does so. Rios comes up firing. The throw to the plate is cut off. And it is six to four Angels. Boy, right, Chris Jimenez, uh, perhaps. Uh, a little jumpy at first base. I think you might have to let that ball go through. About lack of experience in that first base position. And you can see how he's right at the base. So you might as well let that one go as a first baseman. It's a pretty solid throw from Rios. 
arm isn't quite what it used to be, but that is a chance to be a pretty close play at the plate. And you just never know. That's one of those plays as a first baseman. If it's if it's near you or you're just making the catch, that's an easy deke. Yeah, what you got to do is runner. pretend you're going to catch right. it, and he's going to stay there how he is. Whether he's safe or out, it doesn't matter, but at least you know that base runner's not going to go. Now, when it sails over your head, not much you can do. Pretty much taken off as a base runner, anyways. Afford takes upstairs, so the Angels tack on another run as David Freeze picks up his 31st RBI on the sack fly. After Navarro with a single to right and a fly to right. Kendrick takes off. Navarro hooks one into the corner. Howie on his way to third. He's going to come in to score. Navarro's on his way to second. He is going to stop right there. An RBI double, seven to four Angels. Boy, Navarro just flat out hits. He puts the ball in play. Single is first at bat. Put the ball pretty well. His second at bat. That one hooks it right down the right field line for another double. His sixth of the season. Fourth RBI for Efren Navarro. Trying to make contact. Drop the head of the bat. Turns on it. With Howie going, you're just trying to make contact with hit and run and hooks it into the corner, driving in Howie. Fourth double of the year for an effort. Excuse me, sixth double of the year, fourth RBI. So still one out of man in scoring position. Chris signed that at the play. 0 for 1. Struck out at the fourth inning. Walked and scored in the second. That one's downstairs. Boy, this offense is special. Seven runs already in this game. Eleven hits. We're in the fifth inning at this point. Forty-seven hits in this four-game series. Yeah, we've seen it turn the other way around over the years here. Uh huh. We continue on. Continue to swing. If Tali Feliz is beginning to warm up now. Tollison's thrown 15 pitches, nine balls, six strikes. And then a thousand off. And some pretty good swings against him. Oh, let's go Angels chant by the uh, Halos dug out on the third base side. Yeah, quite a few Angel fans here. The 2-1. That was in there. Two balls, two strikes. The big lead at second base. Full count. Tolleson was not erratic the other day, but then again, he was pitching in a game that uh, was three nothing at that point of the ninth inning. Close ball game today. Chris goes down swinging for round number two. And how frustrated Chris was at chasing that high slider out of the strike zone using very good eye. We're dealing with a lot of pitches, some elevated, some in the dirt, all in the outer half, and then hanging the slider out of the strike zone. But as a hitter, you see that, read that, you think it's a good pitch to hit, but difficult to make contact with. Two outs, the borrow at second. Here's Cole Calhoun. One for three, a little pop up down the left field line that uh, Smoliski almost made a fantastic diving catch on, just could not hang on to the baseball. He scored on the trout double. Cole swings and hits one out to right center. Rios and Robertson, and it is Robertson with the call and the catch. And it comes to an end. Halos tack on two more runs on a couple of hits. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The seven four Angels.
now once again at a solid one, two, three inning in the bottom of the fourth. Odor leading off. He had a fly ball to center field. His first at bat. It's his third start since returning from the DL. Been very good as far as throwing a lot of strikes. Could use that quick inning with 78 pitches thrown through four innings here. Now in the bottom of the fifth for Tyler Skaggs, the birthday boy. There in the fifth inning, he'll face nine, one, and two. Odor, Robertson, and Andrews. Three strikeouts, one walk. Had a economical fourth inning, a couple of strikeouts. Twice has retired the Texas Rangers in order, second and fourth. Oh, door looks at a strike. Oh, for one with a fly ball to center. Sky out to a center field. Second time he's flown out to center field. Just out in front a little bit. Just enough. And that's what you want. He's the guy that wants to put the ball and play to the right side. He just wants to make contact. He's kind of going down the line as he's swinging because he's got good speed. Roberts in the center fielder looks at a strike. <laughs> Roberts in a couple of singles. Two runs scored. He's also picked up a stolen base today. Good location there. Great location. His two seam fastball away once again. He's been very effective throwing that pitch throughout the game. 92, 93. What two? Check swing. And because that previous pitch was located well, that's why you get that kind of swing on that similar type pitch. Yeah, you have to protect it because you think it could be a strike. And he's thinking, well, will he throw a slider down and in? Fastball away. If you can spot your fastball away like that, you open up so much of the play for yourself on the mound. Little chopper. Snagged by Skaggs. Nice play. Well, Two he, down. He feels his position very well. He lands in good fielding position. He's comfortable, relaxed, and feels the ball very well. Lands in good fielding position. Tracks the ball into his glove. Has time. Gets the second out of the inning. Great view right here of how he lands in good fielding position under control to make a very nice play to get the second out here in the bottom of the fifth. Seven in a row retired by Tyler since the uh, Rio's two RBI double in the third. Elvis Andrews the batter. And on board twice with a single and a walk. Just missed down and away. Single for Andrews in that first inning, an infield knock. Walked and scored at the third. 87 pitches for Tyler, 59 have been strikes. It's warm afternoon here in Texas. The Angels trying to complete a four game sweep. Ahead of the count of one ball, two strikes. The Angels started the day, game and a half back of Oakland. 56 and 37 record. A 
with the trailing Seattle one nothing. Safe good field the bottom of the fourth inning. One two fouled off to the right. Yeah, with a couple runners on also. Kansas City now in the ninth inning leading the Tigers five to two. Tigers taking the first couple of that series. Yeah, they had a chance to win all four. I mean, if the Tigers had won today and they were up two nothing with Berlander on the hill late. Boy, Kansas City being bats being in bats about eight and a half games out. Oh, a good defensive swing there by Elvis Sanders on that pitch down it away. It's a one, two, three inning for Skaggs. We had played five here at Texas Halos. Up seven to four. Game summary. Mike Trout once again coming through. Gets jammed, but still flares Evan to left center field, clearing the bases with an RBI double. Then again, up with the runner in scoring position. RBI double, scoring Cole Calhoun. Effort Navarro on a hit and run with Howie going. Doubles down the right field line. The offense clicking once again. Seven runs. Mike Trout going to be leading it up. New pitcher on for the uh, Texas Rangers as we begin the sixth inning. Naftali Feliz pitching for the second time of the series. Naftali pitched uh, in Friday's contest, went one inning, allowed a one hit. Fifth game this year. How impressive of uh, the season already for Mike Trout. 73 RBI, but 71 of them hitting from the number two spot. Unbelievable. Yep. Trout pools Hamilton for the Angels here in the sixth. It helps that Cole Calhoun has been getting on base consistently for you in front of you, but you also count on your eight and nine hitters getting on base. Break your ball. First pitch to Trout in first strike. Traveling a couple of doubles today, two for three. In the hole now at 0 and 2. Mike says something to the home plate umpire. Pretty well located fastball at 90. Just touching the outside corner corner of Fox tracks. A couple of fun. Former rookies of the year for leaves in 2010. 40 save season for him. His first in the big leagues. A little different fastball from that year as, as compared to now, 89 90 on his fastball. One, two to Trout. Up and in. It's two and two. Covered from uh, Tommy John surgery. 
August 1st of 2012. Prior to this year, pitched just at 14 to big league games the last couple of seasons because of health. Two two. Full count. Trying to get Mike Trout to chase a fastball elevated. Seen that more and more around baseball, trying to get Trouty to swing at something up and out of the strike zone. He's shown good patience. And Albert on deck. Now the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. He'll lead off men on board for the second consecutive inning. And this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels that may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. So Trout's been on board three times in this ball game. Albert steps in, one for three. He's singled back in the first. To the fly ball to right, he's to the fly ball to left since then. Off the plate. It's one ball, no strikes. A lot of the folks in this ballpark have kind of made their way more so toward the first base side of things. You know, the first base side is shaded. Those left in the uh, third base side have kind of uh, sought that shade, especially the upper deck. They're up near the uh, the roof. One ball, one strike. Seven degrees at first pitch. Texas struck with a run of the first. It was got three in the second, one in the third. Texas tied it up with three in the third themselves. Angels uh, retook the lead in the fourth inning. The Trout double after the Calhoun double. And two runs in that fifth inning. Sack fly by Freeze and the RBI double by Efren Navarro. Trout with 10 stolen bases on the season. Police not real fast as far as his times to the plate. 1 1. This is out toward left center field. That is going to get down for a hit. Robertson cuts it off. Trout keeps on running. The throw is not in time. Boy, he went for the certain part of the base to make it more a difficult tag for Beltre. Aggressive goes around second and gets the third base on his head first slide. That's time to see a runner go to the back part of the base. He went to the front part of the base to shorten up the angle and make it a more difficult tag for Beltre at third base. Robertson throws the ball in quickly with that slide and a more difficult tag because he went to that part of the base. Aggressive base running and smart base running as far as going to the right part of the base to avoid a tag. Not an easy slide either because you got to make sure that you stay on that bag. Momentum can kind of take you sometimes off the bag. Beltre off balance as he tried to apply the tag to the shoes. Hamilton takes low. One ball, no strikes. It makes it fun to come to the ballpark every day. Things that Trout can do. It's amazing. I, I've talked about it a, a number of times this weekend with folks here at the Rangers uh, front office and the broadcast group about how much fun this team is. I remind them. The struggles last year that this team had, but they still had Mike Trout. As Josh lifts one out to left center. Deep enough to score Trout. Hamilton will get credited with a sack fly, and it's 8-4 to four Angels. And because of Trout's speed, you're not even going to get a throw in the home plate. And that's a run produced by the speed of Mike Trout. Josh Hamilton appreciates that, picks up a sacrifice fly in RBI. In our, my Hyundai key the game, I saw red, and Texas has certainly seen that red uniform top run around the bases a lot in this four-game series. Eight runs and 12 hits today alone. Keeping the pressure on the Halos, that offense. But even the play at home in which he beat out the double play ball before Poles' two-run home run before we came down here to Texas. A lot of guys are going to be doubled up on that play. He beats it out, stays on base. Not only does Albert tie the game with that swing it allowed him to put the Angels ahead with a two-run home run instead of a solo shot. 
those little intangibles that Trout brings to the park every day. I mean, how many people go first to third on, on a base hit to the left fielder? Ibar fouls it back. No balls, two strikes. Eric one for two, a ground down, an RBI single, a walk, and a run scored. One ball, two strikes. And what a season so far for Eric Ibar. 50 RBI. One, two on the way. Ibar. This one down the left field line, slicing away toward the seats. I'll show you how impressive that was for Trout to go first to third on this base hit by Albert Poles. Hit well, tracks it, and then turns on the afterburner. And his ability to make that slide to the inside part of the place, more difficult tag for Beltra, a very good fielder, and it can still be able to hold on to the base as he's sliding by hit first. And eventually scores on a sack fly by Josh Hamilton. Foul back. You know the Down. guys love hitting behind him. Sorry, Victor, because the fact is you get a chance to pick up an RBI, even if you don't necessarily square up a baseball because of trout speed and instincts, you get an RBI out of it. Another one, two. Ibar bounces this one back to the mound. Feliz fires it to short. Andrews turns it over to second, or to first, I should say, from second. It's an inning ending double play. The Angels tack on a run of the sack play by Hamilton. Bottom of the sixth. That's where we're headed. Angels leading at eight to four. To tweet your photos using hashtag WestFanPhoto and it could be shown in an upcoming game broadcast. Brent McGuire, we appreciate the picture. Keep sending them in via Twitter using hashtag WestFanPhoto and perhaps, perhaps one day. Hey, the trout hat made it down here oh. in Texas. Upstream, downstream. It's a good looking hat. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Saw a foam one the other day. He is my trout. 
Rios, Beltre, Smolinski in the sixth inning for Texas. As Tyler Skaggs delivers down the way. Rios with three runs batted in today. Sack fly the first inning, a two RBI double. He's in the third. That's hooked to left field. That'll fall in for a base hit. Hamilton plays it on a hop. A good afternoon so far for Alex Rios. And here comes Adrian Beltre. Angels have action in their bullpen currently. Skag just threw his 92nd pitch. Mike Morin, first man up. With the All Star break starting tomorrow, that's a four day break. So she's more apt to get as many guys as possible in there to make sure he'd be able to preserve this victory. The number of arms out of the bullpen and keep him fresh. Valtteri fouling off the first pitch. He's 0 for 2 today. Fly ball to right the first inning. Had an RBI ground out in the third. Picked up his 50 first run batted in. Hit by Rios the sixth for Texas. Three strikeouts one walk. Snapped a string of eight in a row. Retired by Skaggs. Breaking ball. Foul off to the right. 0 2 count. Houston Street. And Tim Hudson have been added to the uh, National League All Star team. The injuries. Houston Street may not be wearing a Padres uniform much longer. 0 2 now. This is lined and uh, past David Freeze in the left. Hamilton cuts it off, holds Rios at second base. So back to back singles puts two men on with nobody out. Looks like Mike Sosha may be going to the bullpen there. An 0 2 count base hit by Beltre against Skaggs. Too good of a pitch with two strikes. That's going to be it for Skaggs. 95 pitches. He is done with uh, nobody out here in the sixth inning. Mike Morn coming on in relief. A pitching change here in the sixth inning with the Angels up 8 to 4. Insurance. Get a fast free quote at MercuryInsurance.com today and see how much you can save. And buy Hyundai. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Downtown Dallas. About 20 minutes, but give or take, depending on the traffic. That, of course, headed east or work to the west. Right in the middle. Arlington. Tyler Skaggs done after 95 pitches, five innings, seven hits, four runs, all earned. Three strikeouts, one walk. He's responsible for the two guys on base. Rios at second, Beltre at first. Back to back singles to start this sixth inning. Mike Moore comes in for the 33rd time this year. 2 and 2 record, a 2 1 4 ERA. 
He will be facing the left fielder Jake Smolinski who is 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fly ball to left. Moran's done a very good job as far as throwing the strikes coming out of the bullpen. He's a guy that can get that ground ball double play to start with here, especially when he has that plus plus changeup. This guy threw the ball well though when you think about it as far as in the strike zone through 95 pitches, 66 of them strikes. Yep. But some opportunities when he was ahead of the count 0 2 to expand the zone. He missed location, even on that one to Beltre for his last batter of the game on a base hit. Moore worked a 1 2 3 8th inning, did face Smolinski and got him to fly out. Here's the first one. This is sliding. This is low. And yeah, Smoliski pulls with foul. A dangerous location on the fastball in against Smolinski. See how quick he is on something on the inner half. One ball, one strike. Eight to four angels here in the bottom of the six. Now Smoliski asking for time. Glance back to Rios. Here's the one one pitch. Swing and a miss. Good off speed. Well, that changeup is so good. It has cutting action when he throws his changeup to right handed batters, sinking action when he throws it to the lefties. Looking for that first down. The 1 2 pitch. Boy, this one's up the middle, off the end of the bat, and will sneak into center for an RBI single. Beltre on the third, and it is eight to five Angels. Three straight hits for Texas to start this sixth inning. That run gets charged of Skaggs. From another changeup, but this one ran and sank instead of cutting away or to a right handed batter. And perfectly placed, not exactly hit well, but placed perfectly. Here's Chris Jimenez, the uh, first baseman today. Twice he struck out. Morin delivers a strike. Jimenez doesn't like the call. Slider. Around the plate and off the inside corner. Moore got the benefit of the call on that one. And the bouncer over to short. High bar feeds Kendrick for one relay back to first. Double play. Beltre scores. And it's eight to six Angels. Very well turned by Ibar and Kendrick. No important double play ball. Run scores, but you get those two important outs. Two outs, bases clear. The book now closed on uh, Tyler Skaggs. Six runs all earned. Five innings plus two batters. But still in line for a win. Here's Robinson Chirinos. This is a strike. 
fastball for Moore. Halos in the seventh will have Kendrick Freeze and Navarro do up. As it appears if Texas had anybody warming up, some talent from these might be coming down for the second inning. Well, somebody's already warmed up and hanging out. Doesn't take a whole lot to get warmed up today in the bullpen. <laughs> Not at all. Torino skies with a shallow right. Paul Calhoun keeps jogging in. And he'll make the catch to end the inning. Texas strikes for two runs on three straight to start the inning. We play six. Halo still up. Six. I want to remind you to join the Angels at Wells Fargo for the annual canned food drive Friday and Saturday at the Big A. Donors that donate 10 items or $10 will receive two tickets to an upcoming Angels game while supplies last. All proceeds will benefit the Second Harvest Food Bank. For more info, just log on at angels.com slash community. Deftali Feliz is indeed back out for his second inning of relief. We'll have Kendrick Freeze and Navarro to deal with. He's allowed a run in the sixth inning. You know, walk to Trout, the single to the Pujols. Trout went to third, and then Hamilton sack fly. How he went for three. Singleton scored in the fifth. First one in for a strike. A great balance in the lineup once again for the Angels. One through nine, a lot of pressure being put on. Even though Ionette has not got a hit yet, he had a good walk, worked the count well, and eventually scored back in the second. One ball, one strike now on uh, Howard. Howard pulls another multi hit game himself. Kendrick shoots one out toward right center field. Robertson got a good jump on it, is there. One down. Well, that's that zone where the baseball's starting to carry. If you hit it low enough on the line, almost got over Robertson's head. He's, he's looking up. He thought he tracked that down well, and the last thing he's got to reach up and make a pretty good play on a ball hit well by Howie. He's checking himself out on the video board up above <laughs> the uh, home run porch. Certainly big enough, the video board here. Here's David Freeze. Angels have action in the, their bullpen. Texas has action going in their pen as well. Jason really getting ready for the Halos. He'll be coming on in the seventh. Ryan Fearben getting ready for Texas. Left hand. Two balls, no strikes on David Freeze. Here's Fearben. 
Beckham, the 50th player used by Texas this year. You know it's a 40 man roster. Two balls and a strike. It's looking elsewhere. You fill out your roster with all the injuries. David Freed today, one for two. A single, a pop up in a sack fly. Got Jan popped it up on the right side. Police calls for it and makes the catch. Two outs. Ron Washington coming out, and with uh, Efren Navarro coming up, looks like Fear Ben's going to come into the game. For a lefty lefty matchup. And that is going to be it. Tolly Feliz works an inning in two thirds. Pitching change here in the seventh, eight six Angels. Derek Jeter taking the field of last All-Star game ever. Should be uh, pretty memorable, that's for sure. Special coverage begins at 1.30 on Fox Sports 1, followed by the 2014 All-Star game at 4.30, only on Fox. Lots and lots of talent. Series run score potentially. Some good arms on the mound, but young talent like Trout. Forward to watch the touches with the bat too for Pittsburgh on the National League side. That is left-hander Ryan Fearbed. Coming on in relief of Natalie Police. First time in the big league since 2008. Native of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Mariners third round pick in 2003. A highly talented prospect, and it just uh, never played out for him in the big leagues. Here have been fastballs 86 to 90, slider, curveball, changeup. Does indeed become the uh, 50th player used by the Texas Rangers this year. The 30th pitcher also, isn't it? Yeah. Fourth time that well, ties a uh, club record. Fourth time that that's happened to them. 04, 05, and 08. Effort two for three. A single and a double. RBI. So he chops this one on the ground to second base. Odor is there. And the inning comes to an end. Seventh inning stretch time here in Texas. The Angels maintaining an eight to six lead.
Seventh inning on a warm afternoon. Doesn't matter to that guy. No. Either that or he was rooting for Germany in the World Cup. Argentina one to nothing. John McDonald, Prime Minister, takes over third base. Save the freeze. New pitcher on for the Angels, Jason Grilla on the mound. 29 games, a 1 and 3 record, a 3 7 6 ERA. Grilly as an Angel. Pitching now to eighth game. 1 and 1 mark, no ERA, six innings, five hits, six strikeouts, two walks. And he's scheduled to face 8 9 to 1 Rosales, Odor, and Robertson. Shinshu, too, will actually come up with the pitch hit for Rosales. Rosales finishes the afternoon going 1 for 2 with a single and a strikeout. Born went one inning and allowed a hit. Everything else zeros. The two runs that came across the sixth inning charged to Tyler Skaggs. Foul back and it's no balls and a strike. Think about really he will come out right away and attack the strike zone. Change the speed very well with his slider. Good change up. There's a two seam fastball and a four seam fastball, 91 to 95 range. Choose batting average now, 244. Nine home runs, 33 runs batted. And 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter. Upstairs. One ball, one strike. Really a former Texas Ranger. Over 2009, pitching 30 games for them. Went 2 and 2 in the 4 7 ERA after starting the year. Colorado. One ball, two strikes. A good hard slider down and in. And that's the pitch where we've seen true in this entire series swing over top of a hard slider from a right handed pitcher down and in. Shot foul on the left field line and out of play. Count remains at one ball, two strikes. First appearance for Grilly in the series. He pitched in uh, Wednesday's game against Toronto. One inning in that one. One hit, one strikeout, one walk for Jason. Lays off the breaking ball. It's two and two. Has faced really four times, two, one for four with two punch outs. Rugnetto door on deck. Then it's Robertson, the center fielder. They do have Leonis Martin on the bench as well. As Chu takes a called strike three. One down. It's a nasty changeup after a breaking ball down and in, followed up with an 84 mile an hour changeup. From Grilly. Located perfectly right on the outside corner. Freezes Chu. Now one for five with three punch outs against Grilly. One out, nobody on for Rugnet Odor, the second baseman. Fly ball to center. Both occasions. So he's open two. Corner infielders in McDonald and Navarro at third and first, respectively. Chases the high fastball, foul tips it. It is 0 1. 12 hits today for the Angels, 8 for Texas. Hale is stranded 6. Well, Texas is stranded 1. Oh, and 2. It's a pretty cool angle. We just saw how that breaking ball caught this. this Strike zone started off away and he ends up getting quite a bit of the strike zone. One ball, two strikes. Joe Thatcher getting ready just in case. Looks like Martin has come out to the on deck circle. Maybe that's why Thatcher is getting ready. Is Odor? There's a foul and out of play, out in front. It's 
Still at a ball and two strikes. Tyler Skaggs, five innings, seven hits, six runs, three strikeouts and a walk. Scott Baker, the starter for Texas, allowed five runs on nine hits and four innings of work. Three strikeouts, one walk. Tollison gave up two runs. Feliz allowed a run. Fear Ben got the last out in the seventh. One, two. Kiss that inside corner. Gurley thought he got it. It's two balls, two strikes. If it missed, it missed by a lot. It looks like it just touches the top part of the strike zone. Two two out toward right center field. Long run for Cole Calhoun. Not going to get there. Short hops the fence. Odor with good speed. Rounds second. He's heading to third, and he is in there with a one out triple. It'll bring up the tying run. That was a change up again, but this time it got the inner part of the plate. Left handed batter, especially a fastball that was not called the pitch before at 94. Tracked that part of the plate. The inner half, and he jumps on the change up. Try to make that pitch go running down and away. But Martin will pitch it here. For Robertson. Robertson, two for three after due. Two sixty nine average for Martin in ninety games. Five home runs, twenty seven runs batted in. One for three as a pinch hitter. Again, with good speed, corner infielders playing in. First one a little bit high. That's are no longer warming up, and it looks like Kevin Jeffson begins to loosen. Two oh count. Now Mike Butcher's gonna come out. Of a situation to talk to Gurley to talk to him about getting the ball down, getting it out here. It also gives Jeps an opportunity to get ready down in the bullpen. Texas starts getting action at their bullpen with another left hander, Neil Cox. Halo's in the eighth inning of nine, one and two do up on it at a Calhoun and Trout. Odor standing at third base. Team looks at a strike. Two and one. Breaking ball. Navarro's got it. Thought about throwing it home. Races the bag. Gets the out. Odor scores, and it's eight to seven. Angels. Really gives up his first earned run as a halo. Two outs. Nobody out now for Elvis Andrews. More guy to get right here now. He has that speed. Rios on deck who swung the bat well this entire game. Now this one for two a single a walk and a bouncer back to the mound. Game up at safe go in Seattle. Oakland leading the Mariners three to one. That game's in the seventh. 
or at the bottom of the seven. It's popped up. Third base shot and into foul territory. John McDonald makes the basket catch. And the inning comes to an end. Texas draws within one. The triple and then the RBI ground up. We head to the eighth. Angels lead at eight to seven. Here at Globe Life Park, the Angels still with the one run lead, eight to seven after Texas got one at the bottom of the seventh inning. Ryan Fearbend is still on the mound. He retired the uh, the last batter of the seventh inning. That was Efren Navarro. The Angels went down in order for the first time this afternoon. Chris Iannetta to lead things off. Cole Calhoun to follow. Then Mike Trout. Yeah, the All Star Mike Trout coming up third in this inning. Hopefully, he'll have somebody on base. He's done a great job as far as driving him in today with four RBI. Ionetta with a walk and a couple of strikeouts. He's 0 for 2. This has scored a run. First one is outside. Off speed pitch down low. Fairbend had been pitching a triple A round rock. 19 starts. 8 and 5 record of 4.54 ERA. 3 0 now. Last year was uh, with Texas, but you double A and triple A. 29 games, 21 starts. There's a strike 3 1. Now, if you're Ian you're looking right in the zone right now to drive a ball. You want extra bases right here. Looking to do some damage, just pull off a little two seam and ran away from him. Three two on the way. And he takes ball four. Third time this afternoon in which the Angels have led off an inning with a base on balls. The other two times, the fifth and sixth, scored runs. Cole Calhoun will bat. He's one for four with a double and a run scored. <laughs> Beltre. You know, on the grass, something just happened in the uh, camera well on the third base side by the Angels dugout. Looks like maybe someone fell. 
And quickly the Angels trainers are going in there to help out. If someone fell or passed out down there. The photographer. It is a hot day out here, so uh, especially down in those camera wells. It's like 99 degrees right at this point. It's like a, it's like a heat exhaust type of uh, situation. Pushing down in those camera wells was so hot. Huh? Cole was stepping to the plate, and all of a sudden there were some fans standing up. And you know, sometimes you get fans that stand up in a hurry. You're not sure if there's a little ruckus going on in the seats. But then uh, guys from the Angels dugout sort of run over toward that camera. Well, it looks like uh, the Rangers uh, medical personnel are on site. See the temperature currently at 99. And, uh, play will resume here. It's uh, like the Angels. Uh, I barred me to Grant Green down there trying to guard uh, yeah, it's that David, area. David freezes down there also. Especially with a lefty at the plate than Cole Calhoun. I'm sure he has some protection down there. So leadoff walk dying at him. Nobody out. And here's Calhoun. They throw to first and Chris uh, slow to get back. But does so no tag from Jim and Ups. See that's he has a very good pickoff move. Neil Cotts back up and loosening for Texas. Beltre in a couple of steps on the grass. Here's the first one. Cole hits one out toward right center field, and that's where Rios is playing him. One down. I had a back to first, and Trout will come to the plate now. Trout a two for three game. Four runs batted in, a couple of doubles, a walk, and a run scored. So a fastball for a strike. Leonis Martin stays in the game. He's out at center field. A couple of steps out to the alley at right center. A one. Break the ball. This is down low. Kansas City ended up defeating the Tigers 5 to 2. In the finale of that series. Tigers had uh, won five consecutive games. So Kansas City goes into the break six and a half back in the central. Like well, Cleveland won in their game, they're back up to 500. A lot of energy in Cleveland. One and two.
Here it's eight to seven Angels in the top of the eighth with one out. Well, back. Went upstairs in the fastball. Except for one pitch, all of them have been elevated to Trout here. Albert Pujols on deck. And that'll working the leadoff walk. Two and two. Trout was in a similar situation in the sixth inning. Eventually worked the uh, the walk against the Dolly Feliz behind the count. Scored the sack fly by Josh Hamilton. 2 2 now. That is hit out to left field. Smolinski is there. Two outs. And then a back to first, and Albert will come to the plate now with two down. Two baseballs hit well in this inning, but right at the outfielders for Texas played well. Albert a two for four game. A couple of singles, a couple of fly balls to the outfield. The gentleman that it, uh, was dealing with that heat, able to walk off. And as own as Albert drives one out to center field, Martin giving chase and can't come up with it. All right, that is slowing down, heading to third, is being waved in. Here comes a throw to the play from Odor, and I did a safe. It goes an RBI double, and it is nine to seven. Well, that's a big RBI double by Poles. Nine Ed was slowing down there as D. Sarcina, especially with two outs, is going to send him. That was right down the heart of the plate. Albert continues to crush the baseball to the middle of the field. Being unable to catch that, gets it in quickly to the cutoff man. And a play at the plate, close play. Put the foot in before the tag is applied. And Chris was jogging as if it was going to be the third out, then all of a sudden has to turn it back on. Ron Washington came out to talk with Clint Fagan. They looked at it in the uh, Rangers clubhouse. And no review as Pujols picks up his third hit. And he picks up his 64th run batted in. Here comes the slide. Foots on the plate before the tag is applied. But what a swing again by Pujols. Has he been hot? Now 64 RBI. I mean, that's a complete and utter uh, misplay in center field by Leonis Martin. Yeah, it was hit well. It looked like he was getting back. He's going to have time to make the play, but unable to bring that into the glove. It's a big run for the Halos. Yeah, Maddox came out to pay a visit for a second. Nine runs on 13 hits for the Halos today. Hamilton at the plate. He has a couple of hits himself. Two for three. Sack fly last time up. That looked like a cross up. Yep. That looked like a catcher looking for a breaking ball and he got a fastball instead. Well, he's looking break a ball and then he's reached back at the last second sees it a fastball. That's not the way you want to be crossed up No, Fortunately, it's just an 88 mile per hour fastball There's the 1 0 breaking ball down the way two balls no strikes so far in this series this four game series the Angels have scored now 32 runs Great hit game for Albert. 19 double. Two go on the way. Change it to a one. Lead off walk comes around to score. Two runs Ionetta has scored in this game after walking.
Two balls, two strikes. The RBI that Hamilton picked up in the sixth inning is 26th of the year. And it fouls it off. Texas in the bottom of the eighth. We'll have Rios, Beltre, and Smolinski coming up. We're picking up a big insurance run here. The eighth. So it's flared out to shallow left field. Long run out for Beltre and over his shoulder makes the catch. The inning comes to an end. Texas has a run. Or part of the Angels had a run as we head to the Texas half of the eighth. Nine, seven, Angels. Brought to you by Arco, Albert Pujols, with the Angels clinging to a one-run lead, hits a double off the glove of Jonas Martin in center field, scoring Chris Iannetta to expand that lead to a two-run lead. Three-hit performance, again, by Albert Pujols in an RBI. Kevin Jepsen on the relief here on the bottom of the eighth inning. 45th game, no record of 213 ERA. Second time that uh, Jepsen has pitched in this series. Pitched Friday night with one inning. One hit, one strikeout for Kevin. Alex Rios to lead things off. He's had a nice game for Texas. Two for two. Three runs batted in and a run scored. First one in there for a strike. Jepsen, the third reliever used by Sosha Skaggs. They have a back to back hits to start the sixth of them. Taken out of the game. Bourne came in. Went one. Really went one. Six runs charged to Skaggs. Really giving up his first run as an angel. Shoemaker warming up. Foul back. After the last out, the Angels live post game. Is anybody so Cal Monster deal? Well down the Jose And maybe even Mark Kubison might make an appearance. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep that one under wraps. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Right. O2 on the way. Rios goes down looking one down. That's that perfect O2 pitch right on the outside corner. Sometimes you get it called. Bottom line, it's it's a perfect pitch. Hitters usually look for something 
a breaking ball or a high fastball and said he paints the outside corner at 97. Now Matt Schuchenbaker working up would be uh, just something of a guy getting work into the bullpen going into an all-star break, right? Yeah, Mike Sosha indicated he was going to let us know at some point today, maybe later on today after the game, the, the rotation after the all-star break, but that's work in for Matt Schumacher down to get ready for his next start sometime next weekend. Beltre lifts one out to right center field. Towering shot, but it's playable. Well, Calhoun's got it. Two outs. Joe Smith has worked in back-to-back -back games, but he has done so very economically. He's faced six batters. He's retired all six and picking up back-to-back -back saves. 13th and 14th Friday in yesterday's game. He's doing a very good job as far as doing it quickly, too. Limit the amount of pitches thrown. Smolenski looks at a strike. The left fielder is one for three. Had an RBI single in the sixth inning. One ball, one strike. It's the first pitch that Jepson has thrown out of the strike zone so far. He's thrown seven pitches. He's gotten two outs so far. And a 1-1 count here now to Smolinski. Two balls, one strike. Halo's in the ninth. Have Ibar, Kendrick, and Freeze coming up. Looks like another lefty will be coming in as Cox is up and ready. Beer bent going an inning of the third, giving up a run. One walk, one hit. Three and one. Jepson retired the first two batters here very quickly. 3 1 pitch. Strike full count. <laughs> Payoff on the way. This is lined into right center field, a base hit. Trout over to cut it off and uh, does so. Smolenski will stop. Another hit for Smolenski. Well, he's really impressed me in this series. His ability to drive fastballs, play some outstanding, aggressive defense out and left. And Jepson's going to challenge him with a fastball. And Smolenski, we saw early in this series, like everything on the inner half of the plate, now that the Angels have thrown a lot of pitches away, he's made an adjustment. Smolenski 10 for 21. Gemini is the first baseman up. 0 for 3. Two strikeouts and a double play ball. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. Joaquin Soria has uh, joined Neil Kotz in the pen. There's Soria. God, I had him. Oh, it too. Head of the count once again. O2. Wonderful. Try to sneak that fastball away again. Protecting there keeps his at bat alive. Cal remains at no balls, two strikes. 
Forty fifth appearance for Kevin Jepson today. Ties K Rod for the Angels club record of games pitched before the All Star break. Just got doing it at 08. I usually see that from a left handed reliever, a lot of appearances like that. So I get a miss. Down goes Jimenez. And that applies the tag, and the inning comes to an end. Eight complete here in Texas. Angels with a 9 7 lead. Score of nine to seven, trying to complete the four-game sweep of the Texas Rangers, and at the very least, stay a game and a half back. And the Oakland Athletics A's currently leading Seattle three to one. That game's the bottom of the eighth in Seattle. As Neil Cox takes over on the mound for Texas, 44th game, two and five record of three four six ERA. Takes over for Ryan Fearbin to allow a run in his inning in a third. Cox fastballs 91 94 slider, very good cut fastball. Throws a lot of those in a changeup. Counts is pitched in this series. Did so on Friday, going one inning and allowing one hit. Eric Ibar will spin around, hit from the right side, then Kendrick, John McDonald. Took over for uh, David Freeze back in the seventh. Ibar today. One for three. Singled home will run in the third. Walked and scored in the fifth. High bar swinging first pitch. Skies went out to center. The oldest Martin is there. One down. Joe Smith up and getting ready for the Angels. Eric Ibar playing his 1,000th career game today. Come through once again, getting an RBI singles, 50th RBI. Eric and Howe have been together for quite some time. Uh, looking at a strike. Kendrick go one for four game with a single and a run score. We just think of the most recent ones that I remember playing against with Trammell and Whitaker. Detroit playing a long time together. That's from back up the middle and a base hit for Howie, a multi hit game. Eric swinging at the first pitch because he, he's afraid to jump on the plane and go to Minneapolis. <laughs> he wants the all star festivities to begin. Already. Yeah, I was asking Mike Trout when they're rolling out there to Minneapolis. Hey, what? He, he's had a smile. Well, he always has a smile on, but he really has that smile work knowing that he's an all star. That's, that's outstanding. Again, congratulations to Eric Ibar. He certainly deserves it. There's McDonald first plate appearance for him today. 204 average double and four runs batted it. Okay. 
Williams have pulled foul just behind Gary D. Sarsen. Looking ahead to the bottom of the ninth inning, Texas will have Torinos, Chu, and Odor. Right-hander, lefty, lefty to face Joe Smith. One ball, one strike. Just off the plate. Cost came out of nowhere last year. Good numbers. 58 games. 8 and 3 record and a 1.11 ERA. And he was outstanding. Donald players this one foul into the seats. Two balls, two strikes. Threw a lot of fastballs last season. A lot of two seam fastballs and cut fastballs. Very effective for Cots last year in a lot of games. Pretty good velocity as well. Effort Navarro on deck. Howie over at first base, a one out single. Called strike three, and McDonald doesn't like the call. Two outs. This pitch was indeed off the inside corner, and it was. The cops gets the call over McDonald's. After Navarro, a couple of hits today. Single and a double. Brought home a run, his fourth RBI. Takes a strike. Faced a lefty in the seventh inning. That was Fear Ben. And grounded out to second. Effort called up before the game yesterday for Drew Rasinski. Sent back down to Double A Arkansas. Grant Green is here, called up today, replacing Colin Calgill. His effort fouls it off the left. Let's hope when everything goes well for Colin tomorrow. Broken nose and a broken bone in his finger. Estimating about four to five weeks on Calgill being out. O2 now no. throw on the first checking on Howie. Howie takes off the pitch is outside the throw to second goes off the glove of Andrews and it trickles out to shallow right center. Pretty good throw by Torinos. And he'll get charged with an error his third of the year. It's a stolen base and an error. Yeah, 11 stolen base in the season for Howie. His career high is 14. He did that a couple of times. Good jump. Anticipating a breaking ball, but a quick catch and throw. Real good throw by Torinos once again. This one gets away and into the outfield off the glove of Andrews. Tougher to give a catcher. That's a good throw. Yeah, I think if it's in the air and it goes off a glove, it should be the fielder's error. And it is. Elvis Andrews gets charged with that error. It's 11th. They were listening in. 1 2. Down and away. Two balls, two strikes. This is the 11th error of the season for Elvis Andrews.
Two balls, two strikes. Two outs here in the ninth. Navarro fouls it off the left. And that fastball in on him. Angels with 50 hits in this series. As a team, they came batting 268, second in the American League. Coming off an outstanding homestand, which they hit the ball so well. They made strides on their last road trip, going three and three through Kansas City and Chicago. It's an overthrow pitch. Nice job by Chirinos. That thing was about three feet out in front of home plate. Well, he gave up his body to make sure that baseball stayed in front, used his shoulders, did not turn his body. Was well out in front of the plate. Word off the right bicep. He is very solid defensively. 30 year old, been around a while. Full count now. Here's the payoff. Navarro bounces it foul. The one thing Torinos has certainly done is that he's earned himself uh, a reputation as a very good backup, perhaps even a starter on some teams. When you throw that well and handle a pitching staff like you can, especially framing pitches, you play for a long time. Yep. As long as you know your place, right? Yes. You don't complain too much. Another 3 2. And it's off the plate. He walked it. So Chris Ineta will bat here with runners at the corners. Another solid at bat for Navarro. You know, a pretty tough pitch to work the walk. Ineta over two. A couple of walks, a couple of runs scored. Chris swings and lines with a left. A base hit for Chris Ionetta. It's 10 to 7 Angels as Howie Kendrick crosses the plate. Chris picks up his 25th RBI. Now everyone in the starting lineup with at least one hit. Fastball ran in, did a nice job of tucking his hands in and driving that ball to left field for a big add-on run. Mike Maddox going to come out and pay a visit. Jason Frazier begins to loosen. And Cole Calhoun will step to the plate. To make that 51 hits now for the Angels. Thirty three runs and fifty one hits. First and second two outs. Cole swings at the first one pops it up left side Adrian Beltre. Into foul territory. Puts it away. The Angels are done here at the ninth. They score a run. A little insurance. We hit the bottom of the ninth. Halos on top.
deserved a victory for Tyler Skaggs. The offense once again outstanding. And Joe Smith has been very good. Open setting him up of late, been outstanding. Nine for nine, his last nine save opportunities. No earned runs, a 10 and a third. ERA 2.38 for Joe Smith. He's been able to get ahead with his fastball and his sweeping slider has been very effective also. Smith to face the bottom third of the order here for Texas. Torinos, Chu, and Odor. A win today would give the Angels their 57th victory. That would put them at 20 games over 500 at the break. And at the very least, a game and a half back. The Oakland Athletics. Oakland. Still leading Seattle three to one in the ninth. Opportunity to go 19 and four in their last 23 games if they can hold on here. Robinson Chirinos lead things off. He's 0 for three. A line out, a comeback into the mound, and a fly ball to right. And he takes down low for ball one. Way upstairs. Well, certainly an advantage for a pitcher now. You've seen the shadow starting to work its way across the plate. More difficult to see and track as a hitter, especially at the angle that Joe Smith throws at. It's hard enough to be able to read the baseball out of his hand. Torino's ahead of the count of two balls, no strikes. And he'll look at a strike, two and one. Shinsu Chu, the DH on deck. He took over for Adam Rosales as a pinch hitter in the seventh inning. 2 1, sky down to right center field. Playable for Trout. Calls off Calhoun. One down. Very good communication right away by Trout. Both of those outfielders are extremely aggressive going after a fly ball, so that communication quickly is important. Two for one. He struck out looking in the seventh inning. That was against Jason Grilly. Skaggs in line for the W, even though he gave up six runs in his five innings of work. Michael Moore in one inning, scoreless relief. He allowed a hit. Grilly allowed a run on one hit, had one strikeout. Then Jepson pitched the eighth. One hit, two strikeouts for Kevin. He continues to do a fantastic job. No balls, two strikes on Chu. Boy, has Jepson been aggressive throwing strikes. Three plus pitches now with his changeup development. This one lifted out the left. Josh Hamilton using a bare hand to shade his eyes, puts it away. Two down. So the Angels one out away from sweeping this four game series against Texas. Step up with two outs, and the base is clear. First one pops in and out of the glove of Chris Ionetta. Foul back. Opportunity too for the Halos to continue that upswing on the road. Be three games over 500. They can hold this lead for Mike Sosha's club here. And another victory against the AL West club. Angels seeking their first ever four game sweep in Texas. Door rolls it foul. It's one ball, two strikes.
One ball, two strikes with two outs. Smith ready. Pitch. Got him looking like that baby up as the Angels take the finale of this four game set. 10 to 7, the final today, and they sweep that four game set. What an impressive effort once again. The offense on fire. 10 runs scored, 15 hits. Solid bullpen work. Tyler Skaggs improves his record to 5 and 5. Mike Trout, the All Star. Eric Ibar, the All Star, on their way to Minneapolis after this game, but they had to complete this four game sweep first. Solid from the get go, fell behind 1 0, but right away the offense responds and scores three in the top of the second to take the lead. So impressive have been the at bats using the whole field. And just the feel around this club right now, now 20 games over 500. When that long ago victory we were talking about getting to that 500 mark, yep. now 20 games over, second best record in all of baseball. Joe Smith with the save today he also breaks Troy.